Hi, family and friends of Mary Immaculate. Just a little uh, Easter greeting. He is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Um, so we we're asked to just kind of say a little bit about our empty tomb here, just something that spontaneously came about to um, honor our Lord and to help us to really enter in in this time of pandemic where we're getting tired of the many different um, ongoing Lenten sacrifices we've had all year, seemingly. Um, to remind us that Jesus Christ is our hope. Um, and so to know that um, all suffering at some point comes to an end. And so this physical reminder is meant to be there for that. Um, also, the beams of glory that are coming out from the empty tomb, so the, the ones that are in white, some of the students, um, as we went through the passion of our Lord over a period of about two weeks, we read a little bit each day from the liturgy. Um, and they did a picture timeline of the events in Christ's life starting from um, the anointing uh, and, and the raising of Lazarus from the dead and onward to, to his final death uh, and burial. And so the idea of incorporating those white beams of glory into the uh, tomb and is to remind us that uh, as Christians, we Christ not only is Christ our hope, but that um, no suffering is wasted, that all suffering has meaning, and that he can transform our suffering. We, we, you know, for the children, we'd say you can't have Easter Sunday without Good Friday, um, but that um, the suffering and difficulties in our lives, that we can offer those to the Lord. And if we offer them to him, if we accept in faith what, what he permits in our lives, then he can transform them and we too can experience the resurrection. So I pray that this Easter season that you're able to enter into the joy and hope of this season. Um, and thank you for praying for us and we'll be praying for you. God bless.